What inspired me as a kid is the idea that someday robots and humans could coexist, just like in science fiction movies. We have so much computing power in our pockets already, and why not put that to use powering a robot? Because one of the fundamental problems with robots is that their brains are so expensive. So I called my old-time friend from high school, Peter, and he said, what if we could build a robot that used your iPhone as its brain? A few weeks later, I had a prototype built. It's probably an underdog story. When we started, uh, there weren't that many people who believed that we were going to achieve any percentage of the vision that we were laying out early on, which was democratizing robotics, building robots that would be simple and fun and affordable for everyone. We're using robots to teach kids about computer science and programming. Dear robot friends, thank you for teaching us how to use a robot friend. The first robot that we built was a small round robot that had two tiny wheels and uh, connected to the iPhone's audio jack. This was the first circuit board that we built. So his name was actually Steve. <laughs> Once we had the robot, we were so giddy with excitement that we couldn't stop playing with it. We realized by showing it to people that other people might want to play with it. So we applied to Techstars to get the mentorship. They had a product vision for the first smartphone robot. That combination of talent and, and product vision and execution is why they got into Techstars. Immediately, Andy was like family. Andy had a great balance between being um, lovable and supportive and being tough and brutally honest. Techstars was really useful because it forced us to focus on building a, a business. During Techstars, we were showing investors our robot and we weren't getting a lot of traction there, so we decided to launch a Kickstarter campaign to see how people would accept our robot. We need your help, Kickstarter. We want to make the first batch of Romo the robot. We set a very low goal of $32,000. We met that goal in three days and went on to raise 300% more than what we were anticipating. We built about 2,000 robots in our apartment. We shipped the robots to 33 countries all around the world. Tony Shea is the CEO of Zappos. He is leading this incredibly ambitious project to try to revitalize the downtown district of Las Vegas by bringing in startups. I had met Tony Shea previously and he'd also heard about Romo. And so he ended up inviting us to go visit. And then he was like, here's an apartment if you want it to build robots. Romo can do face recognition, voice command, color tracking, and a lot more. And that's just the beginning. We went, we presented at Techstars Demo Day, and then we got in Foo's old Honda, drove straight to Vegas. We set up a little assembly line, and, and so we ordered all the components, and we built thousands of robots by hand. Like, building hardware has been super hard. It turns out that hardware is expensive and slow. So we switched from building the robots ourselves to manufacturing with this current generation of Roma, which was designed in early 2012. So these are design concept drawings of Romo. We were just iterating through ideas of what Romo could look like. The third generation has a tilt mechanism that allows him to tilt 15 degrees forward and 45 degrees back. We eventually decided to move to San Francisco. Mainly it was just we needed access to the robotics talent that comes out of Stanford. Coming out of Techstars, we were the most unlikely company to raise a $5 million Series A from Sequoia. We did that by just focusing on the customer and, and, and the products. So one of the coolest things about Romo is that the uh, software that runs on him is an app that's available in the App Store. So updating his software and downloading new functionality is as easy as updating an app on your phone. Today we have 19 people full time. We're building a lot of robots every day and we're shipping them to distributors both in the US and internationally. The thing I love most about Remotive and working here is that I get to work on a team of people who are not just brilliant engineers but who are kind of artists who are trying to create something that is like nothing else that exists in the world. Get back to work.